Well, here I am. Home Depot. I'm beginning to think that this is taking the place of Hobby Lobby. I've come here so often. <laughs> Welcome back to the however many video this is of our Toyota RV renovation series. In this episode, we're gonna be tackling the kitchen dinette and possibly a part of the kitchen wall. So if you watched any of our earlier videos, the kitchen dinette was like this big red cushiony dinette with these cushioned armrests like that were probably like three, four inches wide. And they really took up a lot of room in the aisle and I really hated how it looked. So we tore that all apart. I just ripped it apart. The dinette ended up being pretty unstable. There was cracked wood pieces. Um, things were off center. And nothing was really laying like it should, especially on the one side. So in this episode, I went and I made the dinettes more sturdy and just did a simple frame out. And hopefully later we'll reupholster the cushions. Um, that'll be in another episode, obviously. This is just reframing restructuring the dinette and um yeah i hope you enjoy so i am headed to home depot i am by myself which is a super rare treat and when i go to town and when i'm by myself i get a grande latte please thank you so much have a good day cheers well here i am i actually get excited to go to home depot it's so much fun but I just need to get a few more things to work at the camper, so let's go do this. Do you want to turn on the heater for mom? You want to turn on the heater for mommy? Good morning, it's another day out in the camper. So my goal for the end of this week was to have three things finished. Um, that boxed in place, which I got finished, which I was working at some last week, if I'm getting my week straight. I wanted to have this wall um, done, which is finished. finished I'm not really worrying about all my nail holes because I'm planning to cover this up with tile yet so this was just kind of to hide all the ugliness behind there since the wallpaper was peeling and stuff it was an easier way to do this and now the last thing I want to do are these uh, dinettes just to frame them out here are the dinettes so I'm gonna need to frame out around here and um, around all the edges on this side you can see this is cracked apart um, there's like it's splitting so I'm gonna have to fix this up maybe replace some of this all right I'm a little bit confused at how to go about this this board lays on top of here and then suddenly this goes way down so like if I take this it lays nicely on here so this should be up higher but this one over here this back frame and this is flush and that's not going to work with that. If you know what I'm trying to say, it's completely off center. Huh, the joy of these RVs. Wow. 
Okay, I think so this one's gonna be a bit easier. Everything looks a lot more like it should be. So we're gonna start with fixing these that are uh, cracked. So I'm gonna need to rip down some wood. The wood that we got at Home Depot the other night. This is a solid piece that goes the whole way down and I didn't want to tear this whole thing off. I'll just glue it on. Yeah. I can't get this to tighten up against here well enough so I'm putting a 2 by 4 back here our future plan is to build this bed out a little bit anyway so we're gonna need supports so it's kind of running with that for now okay so this is working but I'm it doesn't this is too low. This is a stupid CB radio, but I'm sure my husband will enjoy it. And there's already a hole there, so might as well leave it. It goes up to there. Anyway, um, so, I'm gonna need to notch this yet, somehow. <laughs> now we're talking. Look at that. Oh yeah! Now we can build over top of that. Now we're talking! <laughs> Alright, this is all prepped. I have the old split wood replaced. I'm using this as back braces. Those will be cut later once we figure out what we're gonna do with this bunk, but we're kind of planning to bring it out further, so we'll need these anyway. Um, and now the plan is... <laughs> so now the plan is to finish out all the edges. And I'm gonna have to try some 45s degree cuts, but we'll see how this goes. Guys, I'm done! I'm finished with this, with the one. My battery's dying. See if I can quick give you a show. So there was like a weird contraption here. You can see this, this little piece were on top of here, so that this side could screw into, and then this little piece. I'm just gonna replace this whole thing with one nice big chunk. We're gonna make this solid. All right, so I have cut this interesting looking piece for right there. This is coming together really well. I'm super thrilled. I got it done, I got it done. There it is, 
guys. Now that still needs a cover, but I have that finished off. That one, I'm pretty happy with that. So I hit my goal. I got this finished. I'm so happy. But if you can tell, I got everything caulked. Now once that's painted white and we have beautiful cushions on the top, that's just gonna be really nice. Um, I really hope that silicone works. I was told that if you use wood putty to fill in nail holes and stuff, that they crack because it's an RV and it's constantly moving and it's so hard that it'll just crack. So people say to use silicone and that's what I used and I hope it sands because it's kind of messy and gross so hopefully it sands somewhat well. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I am filthy, dirty. We are going to go eat out tonight at a Chinese restaurant so we'll see you guys next week hopefully and maybe we'll be starting on the overhead bunk. Have a good day guys. God bless. I wanted to throw in one other thing that I quickly did to the kitchen. This video is long enough so I don't want to show the whole progress. The top of the cabinets where the counter is going to go down onto was really bad, unstable, the wood was coming all apart um, in some places. And so I just went and cut some new pieces, I glued pieces back onto the wall in some sections, re-screwed, uh, and just made it a lot stronger so that when the time comes to put the countertop back on, that is ready to go. So we have the kitchen area, the dinettes are finished, the whole kitchen cabinet area is basically ready. The back piece along the back wall uh, is just laying in there for now until we get the window in and then we'll probably fasten that down. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day guys. We'll see you next time.